Hey, what's up, Nick from BioGear. Today we're looking at the Vital Cooling Backpack. This is a 28 liter backpack from the company Vital, or V-I-T-L, and uh, it's pretty unique. This is the first time I've seen something like this on a bag, and uh, this bag has a cooling fan in it. So, this bag can cool off your back while you're wearing it. It's a pretty neat concept. I uh, haven't seen anything like this implemented before, but uh, let's take a look at it and review it and see if it's, uh, see if it's worth your money. Okay, so starting with the outside of the bag, it is made out of a waterproof nylon material, they say 900D, and it has polyurethane coated zippers. So everything on this bag should, in theory, be pretty watertight, or at least water repellent. I wouldn't say watertight, but definitely gives off the vibe of being a bag that you can uh, take out in the weather and get rained on and not have that big of an issue, which is nice, especially if you're using a bag that you are primarily gonna be outdoors with. Uh, especially in hotter, <laughs> potentially more humid environments. All right, so exterior pocketing is pretty simple in this bag. There is a top compartment on this bag that has a nice soft lining on the inside. So great for sunglasses. Zippers are all real smooth in this bag too. I will say that's nice. There is a hidden zipper on the side here, which you have to kind of feel for and fish for before you can get in there. A good size pocket on that side as well. And main compartment. Goes into an open storage compartment. Very open layout in here. Uh, a few different pockets on the uh, the flap of the bag, as well as a uh, laptop sleeve, tablet sleeve, and two more pockets here. One of them's probably going to be occupied by wherever you keep your power bank, though, because you have to have a power bank to power the fan in this bag. I'll get more into that in a second. But overall, um, very open layout in this bag. There's not a whole lot of like extra compartmenting but there is enough pockets for you to potentially get some good organization in. Um, in a bag like this, you're typically gonna be carrying a lot of like outdoor stuff, whether it's a repair kit for your, uh, your electric skateboard or some hiking clothing or something, water bottles. So not that big of a deal. This bag's more so just able to carry a bunch of stuff. It is 28 liter in size, so um, it can carry a good amount of, uh, definitely a good amount of stuff on it. And um, that back panel on this thing is quite rigid, I will say. The rest of the bag, as you can see, as I'm holding it and moving it, it's real floppy, real malleable, just like any other, you know, normal backpack. But the back is very rigid and uh, does provide a lot of, like, structural integrity for the bag. This panel doesn't bend, it doesn't move very much at all. It's, it's quite stuck in place, and uh, that's nice. I like when I see stuff like that in a bag. Um, it does have enough padding on the bottom, too, to keep itself upright for the most part. Um, so yeah, good, good pluses around the bag for that. Inside's also like that, you know, I, I call it the typical parachute material, but it is a decent, uh, you know, waterproof, sweatproof type of fabric. So uh, not too much to worry about on the inside of this bag. I do have to mention on the note of waterproofing that the only thing that's not waterproof is going to be the fan assembly back here, the fan box. But uh, this fan is removable and uh, you just simply rotate it and it does pop out. I was asked to try not to remove it for the video. But um, you can remove that fan box assembly and put a plug inside. And then it is, for the most part, primarily waterproof. But if you are going to be in any kind of heavy downpour or anything like that, please remove your fan and put a plug in it. Okay, so lastly on the exterior of the bag, there are two expandable water pocket pockets here on the left and right side. And that's pretty much it. I also forgot to mention that there is a USB port on the exterior of this bag that connects to the power bank on the inside. Now getting into the fun part. Straps are very comfortable on this bag. They do have this very, very open, like Swiss cheese style of, of strap padding. Um, very good for allowing any kind of air to pass through and wicking away sweat. So that's uh, lovely to see that they take that very seriously on this bag. Um, on this left strap here, you do have your button which controls the fan and it is also Velcro and serviceable. So if your button ever breaks and you need to switch it out, you can do that. That is good to see, I love serviceability. Back panel though, as you can see, nice solid mesh back here with a nice soft coating to it too. I really like the material that you're using for this. And then you have your fan right here. So nice blower style fan, uh, loves to blow air everywhere and it sucks in air around the entire exterior of the bag. This is all open mesh here. When you kick that fan on, you can feel the air being pulled in from around the bag, which does give you a little bit of cooling on your back, as well as the uh, the incredible amount of airflow that comes out of this fan box right here. So, next question is going to be, how do you work this thing? On the inside of the bag, there is some sort of routing for where you put the USB cable. You need to power on your power bank, make sure it is actually powered on, and plug in. Now, that order doesn't matter. You can plug in before you power on. but. Basically, you're gonna stow that in the bag somewhere. 
and you're basically done. The bag is powered at that point. So there's a boot up procedure. Hit the button on the back. It will boot up. And within a couple of seconds of booting up, you simply hit the button and now your fan will start to spin up. It does have a progressive ramp. And then it's on. And it puts out a considerable amount of airflow. Even on one, it's just a nice light current of air. But when you go up to two, you got quite a bit of air. And three is quite a bit more than that. Three is pretty loud as you can probably hear. I think they said over 60 decibels, which is pretty crazy. Um, and that's that's a lot of airflow. Like there's quite a bit being pushed out here. So it definitely does what it's advertising that it's gonna do, which is basically just go nuts and blow a ton of air out. So yeah, this thing is uh, pretty serious. Um, I was using it in our 100 degree weather here in Texas and I mean, even though it's like 100 degrees outside and even the air is extremely hot that we're blowing around, it did provide a, uh, a layer of air on my back that I wasn't sweating near as bad as I normally do when I'm wearing a backpack around. So um, proof of concept definitely works. I think that it is a uh, fantastic bag for, for outdoorsy type people that just don't want to be sweating, especially if, let's just say you're at a, a, a wedding venue or something and you're filming and uh, you know you're gonna be wearing a backpack like the entire time that you're outside, right? Uh, even like a convention or Renaissance Festival or something. And you know you're gonna be wearing a backpack. At least if you choose this bag, you're wearing a backpack that keeps your back cool instead of wearing a backpack and sweating in it the entire time. So uh, there is some merit to this design. I think it's pretty cool. Um, kudos to the guys that designed it at Vital. I, I really think that they did a pretty good job on it. Um, but uh, other than that though, the only stuff that I would potentially change going forward in this bag would just be add a little more structure to the front of the bag. But it's not necessary, like I said, for an outdoorsy style bag, I mean, I'm just kind of picky with, you know, making sure my bag looks pretty when I wear it too. But um, yeah, it's a neat design. It works pretty freaking well. And um, I definitely think it's worth checking out. So hey guys, if you have any questions, post them down below. I'll do the best I can answer them or hit up Vital. They, uh, they're gonna be launching this bag on July 31st of this year, 2022. And uh, I think they're open for pre-order, so I'll link all that information below. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.